So one of the things that most inspired me to start YouTubing, strangely enough, as much as I love high tech, I also love low tech. So what really inspired me, uh, I'd say 50% is my experience as moving around as a military wife, and the other 50% is my own artistic practice, and specifically, my love of male and male art. So I'm going to share with you guys today some of my male art that I made specifically when my husband was in A school and basic training. So I'm going to do a follow up to this in a little while about receiving male art as well because there's a whole other side of this world. But I want to start out today with the side of giving male art. So what I did is, as my husband prepared to leave, I also kind of prepared to leave. I knew that I wanted to send him mail every single day that he was gone. Even if I wasn't receiving something, I knew that I wanted to make sure he was receiving something. I also knew I was going to run out of things to talk about. So part of what I did is when he was prepping and getting ready with PT and things like that to be physically ready to join, I was illustrating envelopes for him so that that way, at very least, he'd be receiving something beautiful every single day that he was gone. I know a lot of people say, especially when you're in basic training, don't send any kind of a letter with a sticker on it. Don't send anything with a picture on it. Don't send anything with glitter, goddammit. <sighs> like you're going to make their life hell. I said, fuck that. Um, so what I did is, here's an example. So part of what I did is I would get... Um, plain postcard paper. This is something you can get at a Michael's craft store or your local art supply. And it comes just plain and pre-addressed with the stuff to write a message on it. Um, here's one that I did of two little bunny rabbits laying around. Uh, bok choy is my husband's favorite vegetable, so I did some bok choy. Let's see, some of the other creative things that I found that were my favorites was, um, are you familiar with moleskin notebooks? The famous kind of little planner notebooks? They actually make these really great little, so this is what it looks like on the outside, and it's actually like a little book, booklet kind of, but when you open it, this is made by Moleskin. it's actually a mini notebook. So I made him a little story in here with some illustrations of me and him and the dog. I also like collecting old stamps that I'd find places, like I love this cockroach one that's from, I believe, Romania. We also have, this one here is an old United States one that I just put on with my forever stamp. And then I'd put in little magazine clippings and things. What else do I have in here? Every day I wake up thinking of you. You know, you don't, you don't want to be downbeat, especially when someone is at a kind of depressing place, especially in the middle of the winter, like basic training. Sometimes I wouldn't have the time to fully illustrate an envelope, so then I'd use magazine clippings. I'd go into like Vogue magazine. I'd find weird things inside of the magazines. Uh, so this was a newspaper with fish laid out on it that made a really cool envelope. Another thing that I would do is to remind him of home and just things that made him happy, I would take black and white photocopies and print out still frames from movies that he really loved or scenes within our city that he really adored. Um, so this is a scene from Wong Kar Wai's In the Mood for Love. I printed it out in black and white and then I just ran over pieces of it with marker, as you can see here. And it turned out really, really beautiful. Or this isn't In the Mood for Love. I'm sorry, this is 2046 by Wong Kar Wai. This is the movie poster for it. Beautiful movie if you haven't seen it. Um, I also took some of his favorite vacation photos of us. This is a photo of me at the beach where, again, I just went over it with um, some markers. I think that this is a nice effect because you get the idea, and it's almost like your own handmade art. I guess it is handmade art. But at the same time, it kind of has that same feeling of like a memory. You know, it's a little blurry, not quite as HD. One of the things that I did when he first left was I did this, this series on the orders of century, which is one of the things they have to learn when they're, at, um, when they're at basic training. This one has Ratfink on it, the famous biker character. Um, and this one was for number two, something about staying alert um, of everything in your place with insider hearing. So I think it's for walking your post. I really like this one, how it turned out. And then inside of this one, I think this was actually maybe for my birthday, um, I made him a timeline of what I did for my weekend. Because you know, nowadays, this is like the exact opposite of Instagram and everything. Nowadays, how things work is that you go online, you can see where somebody checked in, you can see where they take pictures on their Instagram account, and I Instagram everything. So what I did is I took all my pictures that I took with friends, and I printed them out in these tiny things, and on 
I lined it with some duct tape to turn into a ribbon. And then on the back of it, I wrote little notes. So right here it says that on a whim, I joined a trivia game with one of my friends who is very into his trivia. And because I had seen the movie The September Issue, which is photoed here, um, we won the trivia game. Or here's an album cover from the electronic artist Grimes. So I told him that, um, that I stole some money from one of my friend's wallets and bought some songs from, from the DJ playing around. My friend was okay with that, I'm not a thief. Um, and I got them to play Grimes. Here is a sign of the park that I went to with the dog earlier in the day. And then here is some hot pot that I ate. So that's a fun idea. And this one, I did the whole weekend for him. So it was almost like he got to go with me. It was like a timeline of where I was and where I was going. Um, so I'd recommend doing that. Just print out these little thumbnails of what you're doing and it makes a really nice thing that you can share. Some other ones that I did, this one's a more colorful one. This one was based off of, this one was based off of some saint, but I don't remember which saint it does. Does anybody recognize this saint? There's like three figures and he's riding on a boat and there's a dragon. I really don't know what the story was, unfortunately. Maybe this is like the patron saint of sailors. I like making prayer cards too. <laughs> Even though I'm not religious, I really like to make prayer cards. So I'm sure, I'm sure this is Saint something or other. Uh, here's one that's an illustration I did of myself sitting in our living room. So that's kind of cool. Here's another one of my photo ones I did. I really love Carmen Miranda. So on this one, I printed out a photo of Carmen Miranda dancing and put it sideways on here. Made a really colorful, beautiful one. Some of the stuff that I do is more personal, so my family is from Switzerland originally, but settled in the USA in a place called Savi Island, or Sovies Island is what we tend to call it. Um, and I illustrated this, this picture of Mount Hood in the background, and one of my family's little Swiss dairy cows hanging out, just grazing. So here's some more from my Orders of Century that I did. This was Order of Century number four. Again, we have rat fink on the back, so that's kind of some biker chicness. Let's see what else we have here. I hope I'm not boring you guys too much. This one is from In the Mood for Love, so this is the other Wong Kar Wai movie. I really like the way that these ones turned out. They're just very graphic looking. Here's one that's of me walking in the rain with my backpack on. I illustrated that one. This one I probably sent near my birthday. It's a picture of me sitting in my Converse and a dress that I have that I wear on my birthday every year. It's very cupcakey. I call it my birthday dress. <laughs> Another fun one that I did was I made this envelope completely custom and I cut it out so it literally looks kind of like a crazed chubby little girl. And as you flip it up, you can see there's her, her head. And you, you look, she's eating some ramen. <laughs> because I love ramen. She's a little crazed. Woo! So that's a really fun one that I did. Uh, here's another hand illustrated one. I don't like the way this one turned out as much. It's not quite as beautiful. Here's some more from the Orders of Sentry that I did. This is, who, what's the name of this character? Maybe Baby Huey is from Who Killed Roger Rabbit. Um, but this is for Order of Sentry number three, which says, to report all violations of orders, I am instructed to enforce. That's part of the General Orders of Sentry series that I did. This one was a reference to a song that my husband really adores and an album that he really adores from the artist Cody Chestnut and the headphone masterpiece. Um, so it's got the three stripes for Adidas, uh, kings and crowns, and those are all references to the song. So I think he really, really liked this one. And then last but not least, this is my very favorite one that I made. It's kind of a, a golden ticket. It's a very beautiful envelope. It's got this pretty toggle here. This one cost me extra postage, but it was completely worth it. And what I did is I put on here um, the, the emblem for his rate, which is his job. He works with parachutes. And this really regal gray bunny rabbit hair with a banner going across it with the address like that. So I really love the way that this one turned out, but if any of you guys have any questions about mail art, um, 
please let me know in the comments below. I encourage you guys to subscribe. I'm going to be releasing a couple videos about mail art, so I'll call this one probably mail art part one, custom envelopes, giving, not receiving, something like that. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys really enjoy it, and let me know what you think below if you have any questions, or if you guys have any pictures of your own mail art also, please contact me because I love sharing mail art. I love mailing people back and forth. Pen pals are the best. So um, yeah, have a nice day, you guys. Thank you.